Hi there, guys. Uh, it's Ashley Kyle here. Yeah? yeah, yeah, how's it all going? All right, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry to disturb you so, at this late time of the night. Um, I've had a bit of a pickle, you see, yeah. Yeah, I was outside Hoover in the uh, outside of my flat because obviously we have cleaners on a Friday and they haven't turned up for two weeks, which is a bit suspicious in itself. So I've been out there hoovering myself because I like to keep the place clean, you know what I mean? Keep things up to godly level. Godliness is cleanliness. Anyway, I'm hoovering and what does happen? You know, like a moth, you only ever see one at a time. David Attenborough said... Moths need at least three feet of space between them, otherwise they can't tap into their environment and fly about and do nothing. If some other moth intrudes within that three foot, it disrupts their functioning. That's why they're always flying around hitting lights and stuff, because other moths are about. Anyway, I'm hoovering, and what do you know? I'm hoovering, and three moths land on my shoulder. And I'm thinking, hang on a minute. Only the other week was I watching the uh, Discovery Channel and David Attenborough said, don't ever let any of, any of them get that close because it means trouble. And I thought, this ain't good. You know what I mean? All I'm doing is swinging me over about. I'm like, what are they so interested in? You know what I mean? It's almost like they're preying on me because I'm weak. So I took a deep breath and I blew on my left shoulder Nothing. A glimmer of hope. One of them flapped its wings. And then I went, boo, as loud as I could. They all flew off and landed on the roof. All in perfect sequence. And I thought to myself, oh my God. I've stunned them. They wouldn't move. I walked up to them. I was waving my hoover about, banging the roof. Nothing. No movement. Just an equal space between all of them. So I went inside and got my ruler out of my drawer. And I measured the gap. And the gap was exactly 13 centimetres between each of them. Exactly. I mean, the last one was 0.01 of a millimetre out of the 13 centimetres. But I'm going to let that go. You know, you got you got to allow for wingspan. You know, their wings are always different. Like, they've got a substance within their body, which is all the same throughout the moth kingdom. But they always have different length wings. That's how they distinguish themselves as individuals. Anyway, so I thought to myself, I'll add this up. I've got a 13, a 26, and a 39. And I thought, 39? And I had a dream the other night that I was stepping through paradise and there was 39 steps and then when I hit the 38th I fell and sunk into the depths of my despair again and I thought this is a symbol that if I look at these moths long enough I know what's going to happen they're going to suck me in and they're going to think do you know what the way he's looking at us he wants to be friends with us and then I'm never going to shift the cunts do you know what I've done I thought, fuck this. I got a lighter out and I drew, well, not draw, I burnt a triangle around them on the roof. So they were trapped in a triangle. And then I got my bio and drew a little eye on the top to symbolize evil. And then I held my lighter around it and waved it about to fucking seal the atmosphere. And I trapped them with an evil. And I announced it out the window. I said, God, I'm going to trap these moths within evil for an eternity until I can hear them properly, like I can hear the birds and the other animals talk to me. I can't hear these ones. I'm going to sit down, relax, clear my anxiety, and when they're coming through loud and clear, and they apologise for tricking me, putting this much pressure on me, when all I'm trying to do is hoover my flat, I'll tell you what, once they do that, I'll set them free. But until then, I don't know what moth hell is, but oh my God, they're probably going to be stuck there for about three hours till I settle down from this stress. Anyway, take care, laters.